man who knows how to put business in the needs of the people ahead of pettiness. There's a lot more that can be said for the other guys, you know. If they had their way, this town would be overrun with vagrants like that Dubstown dump. Uh -huh. You're too kind, Red. I just do what I can to put, to put bread on the tables of all hard-working Betonians. Darn straight you do. I don't mean to interrupt you two, but I was told there would be a job at hand. Yes. Ah, yeah, straight to business. Red, I can see why you're fond of this one. Whatever you need, we'll take care of it for you. I'm glad to hear it, because what I'm about to ask of you isn't exactly by the books. Uh-oh. Normally, I would never stoop this low, but considering what those anti-union anarchists are planning, we may not have a choice. So you're basically stooping as low as the anarchists themselves. Great. You're going to be just as bad as they are. Lay it on us, Bob. Yeah, lay it on us. As you may be aware, the election is fast approaching and my competition is very fierce this time. On top of that, we've gathered intelligence that suggests that sometime today they'll be breaking into City Hall and to do the unthinkable. They're planning on rigging the voting machines with some sort of virus to ensure we don't win. Those sneaky... Ahem, <clears throat> pardon my French. No need, Reg, your outrage is completely justified. Popularity polls show we have a wide margin and those rebels have to take the choice out of Beaton's hands. Yeah, I, I'm not down with that. People have a right to vote for who they want, and that's just not... That's not right. I don't agree with that. Thankfully, we have you two. What do you need from us? I need you to enter City Hall covertly and implement a similar software into the voting machines. What? You'll need to bypass security and find your way to the mainframe there. You'll be able to ensure that your victory hasn't been compromised. Wait a second, you want us to rig the machine so that you'll win? How is that any different than what the other guys are doing? The difference, my friend, is that not once in my entire career as a, as a politician have I lost a campaign. Oh, I wonder why. Regardless of how you moralize this, all we are doing is giving the people exactly what they're asking for. We're just ensuring that the citizens of Beaton get what they want. That's not right either. Alright, we'll do it. Uh, no. No, we. No. What's in it for us if we do? Apart from the satisfaction of knowing you did a good deed for your fellow man, well, I suppose I should be able to enforce an end to the workers' strike immediately. Get that bus service working again. Did you say you wanted to get out of here soon? In addition, I suppose once I'm in office, I'll see to it that you're well taken care of as a friend of the office. Assuming you succeed in your objective. You're just as bad as they are. Both sides are horrible. Both sides are, like, low. Sounds like helping you might be the only way I'm getting out of this town at this point. I'm glad you see things my way. Ugh. Red, I'll leave you to take care of the rest from here. We'll do a real good job, Mr. Mayor. Don't you worry about that. All right, then. I'll bide you a Jew for now. This is wrong. There's got to be another way around this. All right, Clive. You see what I was talking about? Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Real important people. Real big jobs here. Blech. That's what the union's all about. So how are we going to pull this off? For starters, take this. Red gave you a personal hacking device. What the heck is it? It's a personal hacking device, PhD for short. This is what you'll be using once you get inside the City Hall mainframe. If you boot it up now, you'll be able to run a test mode to help you get the hang of it. I highly recommend taking a minute to familiarize yourself with the interface now before things get serious. Last thing we need is blowing the mission because you don't know what you're doing. Go and practice, go on and practice a little. Then come see me when you're ready to peel out of here and stop those anarchist punks in their tracks. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. Don't think I'm gonna be doing that, but I worry that I have to in order for the story to continue. Don't even think about sleeping in our... Yeah. Personal hacking device. Welcome to the Hacksaw Simulator 2000. Hacks. Attempts allowed. Three. Choose mode. Easy mode. Initiate hack. Oh, I see. Hack detected. Two intrusion for systems override. Oh, I see. Node connected. I see what I have to do. Unfortunately, it's not time. Node connected. So I have to do this. Node connected. This is easy mode? What's normal mode like, I wonder? 
node connected. At least I move way faster than those things. Node connected. Trail begin. Trial begin. Simulation mode activate. Reboot. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna... System alert. Final attempt. Critical failure. System shut down. Yeah. I have a feeling I might have to be forced into this. But we'll see. I'm gonna have to pick a side, it looks like. Hacks. Three. Choose mode. Normal mode. Let's try normal mode. See how hard that one is. Oh my gosh. Whoa. This is gonna be hard. These things are moving way too fast for me. I think easy mode is the only thing I can actually do because this is way too hard. Okay. Uh, well, I guess it's not too bad. I just have to find the sweet spots. Uh. Once I get to the end, it's not so bad. Oh, jeez. Okay, this isn't horrible. I just needed to get used to... just need to get used to the... Sheesh. Ah! Ah! Help! 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 Okay. Ah, I did that. Goodness. I went from failing twice. Alright, I'm done. Not sure if I'm gonna do that, but whatever. Ugh. Let's see what the... I'm gonna take a look at what the jobs here are. Greater Beaten Employment Services. What sort of work do you guys have lined up today? Yeah, take your community garden project. Alright. This bus goes to the community garden project and they need folks to plant seeds for them. Sure, why not? Let's go. Hey! So welcome to the community garden project. We're really glad you decided to come and help us help each other out today. As a not-for-profit non, not organization, we take great pride in offering valuable work opportunities for down-and-out folks, like yourself, that help the entire community as a whole. Okay, so what is it you want me to do here? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't explain at all, did I? I see so many faces in and out of this project, I can never remember who's new and who's not. As part of a generous donation from the Macroshaft Corporation, we've been given a large supply of high-quality seeds that'll produce crops. Once the crops are fully grown, we harvest them and sell them to local markets and distributors for a worthwhile project profit. As part of our trickle-down seed seedonomics plan, we are committed to fostering growth in our community, and so that's why every packet of seeds your plant pays. You plant pays. For every one of our seeds you plant here, we'll give you $5 at the end of the day. Great, I'm ready to get started. Oh, that's fantastic! How many seed packets would you like to buy? Excuse me? Oh yes, I'm sorry, I forgot to explain. Although our program has done many fantastic things for the community, we had a period where certain individuals were abusing our generosity. We had a period where junkies would sign up just to make a quick buck before getting high again. When we stopped giving the seeds away for free, we saw the very same junkies start saving their money to ensure they'd have work next week. As a not-for-non-profit organization, that's the sort of thing that we're all about. Okay, as long as we get a profit. Also, we have to cover the royalty fees for the seeds. But never mind that. You can have your first pack of seeds completely free, our gift to you. Come see me when you're finished planting them. Okay. Uh, alright. Well, then let's plant some seeds. Oh, I'm out of seeds. Shall I open a seed packet? Yes. You open a seed packet. The packet has four seeds in it. So that's five, ten, 
15, 20. We just made $20. I'm out of seeds. Hey, are you finished planning for the day? Or did you want to grab some more seed packets? You're doing a swell job, by the way. You've already planted $20 worth of seeds. I need more seeds. Yeah, I'll take some seed packets. For $5. Well, I mean, I'm gonna profit, so... Let's get five for now. Okay. That should hopefully be a good amount. I'm out of seeds. Yes. You open a packet, five seeds in it. Yeah, nice. So that profited me $20. This actually isn't so bad. So, you know, you, you have to pay for the seeds, but that's okay. I think, you know, I guess if you're going to keep the junkies away, you got to do what you got to do. All right, and that one pro profited me $10. I mean, as long as each packet has one seed, at worst, I'm going to break even. At worst. So, this isn't too horrible. Although, I'm not sure if it's as lucrative as the uh, tofu plants. It might be relatively the same. Ooh, bingo. Five seeds in it. How awesome. I wonder what kind of plants these are. I love how he's like whistling while he works. There you go, Clive. That's a... There you go. I'm out of seeds. Alright, I guess we're gonna have to buy five more. I guess. Uh, I need more seeds, lady. $115 worth of seeds. Yeah, I'll take some more seed packets. Okay. No, not, yeah. Here we go. I'm out of seeds, open a seed packet. I think that he said five. There we go. I'm out of seeds. Five. Nice. I'm hoping for more of these five packs. They definitely help me with my profits considerably. So far five is the most I've seen in a pack. Three and five it looks like are the, what I typically have been getting. Five. Nice. Nice. Alright, we're almost done for the day. This isn't too bad. I mean, it's a lot less complicated than the factory one. I'm surprised I didn't start with this one because compared to the factory one, this is pretty simple. It took a little bit of time to figure out what I had to do for the factory one. Let me go buy one more pack. Hopefully it's three seeds or something. All right, $225 worth of seeds, plus minus, you know, however much money I have been spending on the packs. So I'd like to think that I've made, uh, well, I didn't quite make, I don't think I quite made $200. I think I'm below. But still, all, you know, on a day's, honest day's work. And I still think I have one more seed left. Are you finished planning for the day or do you want to grab some more seeds? You're doing a swell job, by the way. You've already planted $240 worth of seeds. Is there, was there, like, any other places where I can plant? I don't think there's other places. Because she kept asking me, do you want to keep planting? Whoa. Where did... Okay, I was like, I disappeared behind... Okay, that's weird. My portrait is still up. Alright, well... Are you finished planning for the day? You're doing this well job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving now. Nah, I think I'm done for today. Oh, well, if you're all done, then you can catch the next bus back to the temp agency. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Did I get my money? You received $120 as payment. Eh. It's alright. Afternoon. Um. Whoa. It's evening already. Um. I wonder if any of the other places are open now, tonight. I'm curious about that detective. No droppers or freeloaders. I'm also curious if I'm supposed to, like, uh, if I'm supposed to end up talking to the opposing group. Detective Ricky Clark, the door's locked. I guess he must be out on a case. 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna go check the other temp agency. How's my stamina? Stamina's doing okay, actually. Which means tomorrow I can do more fishing and I can feed myself. And I have $306 to my name, which isn't horrible. Alright, let's try the next area. Try the next temp job. The bus is heading to Donnie's Botany Club. Is that like Donnie Dirty Don? I'm gonna see what it is. Alright, before you even ask, let me answer your questions and save us a little time. Yes, those plants are marijuana. I grow it. Okay. Yes, I'm legally licensed medical distributor. Really? No, I will not sell you without any any without a card. No, I will not sell you or help you obtain a card. You understand those last two in particular? Yeah, crystal clear. Totally legit operation. Your job here is to cut the buds off my plants. I'll give you two dollars for every gram you collect from me. You have to bag it to order though, so listen up. Your first order is for 10 grams, so take this baggie and fill it up and come and see me when you're finished. You received a plastic baggie. Try and fill it exactly, right? Any access gets pulled off the top when my cousin Donnie over there weighs it and then he smokes it. What? Neither of us could pay for that loss. I don't know about this, guys. Can't do anything about it? That's his cut. Thankfully, it actually grows on trees. Fill the bag to 10 grams and bring it to you. Sounds easy enough. Don't get smart and try stealing any, either. They'll search you before you even get on the bus. Trust me, they don't, they don't like doing business here. Even like doing business here. You don't want to You don't want to mess around with them. We'll be waiting here with the scale. You fill that plastic bag yet? No, yet, still needs more. Nice scale. Ugh. I can't just quit now. I don't really feel good about this. I don't think this guy... I think this guy is totally lying to me about being medicine like about being licensed for medicinal stuff. Last that plastic bag yet? Alright, fine. Currently holding ten grams. Click a five gram. Five. Here. You fill that plastic bag yet? Yeah, it's looking pretty full. You gave him the fill plastic bag. Give it here, I'll wait, we'll weigh it. Wow, it looks, you, you, looks like you hit it bang on. Ten grams is on the money. Suck it, Donnie. That's twenty dollars for you today. It's not bad. Did you want to clip some more? No thanks. I'm done. No thanks. I think I'm done for the day. I think the bus is here soon. Yeah, I... Ugh, still smell like weed. Great. I'm gonna have to shower. Yeah, I'm not down with... I don't really feel comfortable working for that guy, so I think I'm gonna stick with the with the other place. I just... Yeah. I don't think he's telling me the truth that he has a license for medicine. Yeah, no. That operation looks pretty sketch to me. Alright, sleep on the couch for the night? Yeah. Write another page? Yeah, might as well. Gotta get it down while it's still fresh in my mind. Well, this looks like my bed for the night. Twenty more days till... Angels gets married. Ugh. I'm gonna need to get some food for my belly. So, we're gonna do our morning chores. My morning routine, and by that I mean... Fishing, checking the stocks, all that good stuff. Okay, so I spent the entire day, I mean, after fishing, I spent the entire day working at the garden and nothing really eventful happened today at all. So I'm thinking perhaps I probably should just go ahead and do that union, that union thing. Maybe another journal page. Because I, I don't know. I'm not sure. It's it's weird because you. I'm wondering if the election is supposed to take place on a specific day, or the game is just waiting for you to advance the story by doing that quest at the union. Uh, and if that's the case, I don't know. For a game that wants to give you a lot of choice, I feel like this is a point where I'm not really given really much choice. Like. It's basically saying, yes, you have to help the Union. 
in this way, and I would think in most other games you at least get to talk to the other side and have the option of helping them instead of Union. Not that I think the other side is any better, but um, yeah, I'm a little... That is that is a disappointment in this game that I have, is that I feel like I have all this freedom, and then when something like this comes up in the game, it's a little jarring, because it feels like you don't... You're, choice is just taken away from you. So, where was that place again? Was it over here? I feel like it was over here. Uh, yeah, I think it was over here. Okay. Union Clubhouse. Make yourself at home. You got the hang of that hacking device yet? Poked around in it, in a little bit, in it a little bit. We've got a pretty good idea of how to work it by now. Well, you're gonna want to be sure you know what you're doing because we only get one shot at this. Do you want to practice some more? You're ready to go now. Hmm, I do need more practice with the hacking. Do I need more practice? Let's just go. No, I should be fine. Let's get going. City Hall Courtyard. All right, the coast's clear. I don't like this. So you're ready to do this or what? We've only got one shot, so let's not mess it up. You blow our cover, it could mean the end of the Union for good. Not to mention they'll lock you up for treason. We're facing down some serious jail time, then. If we're busted, they'll have people living on the moon before we're let out. Not to mention that punk Trodu will have a landslide victory and the whole town will fall into chaos. That said, I gotta know you're willing to risk it all in order- I gotta know you're willing to risk it all in order to, or to keep order and civility in this town. It's that serious, huh? Sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Don't you... don't you wuss out on me now. Well, it was all fun and games when we were talking about it, but now that we're here, it feels so serious. Of course it's serious! You've seen what those anti-union punks are all about. Do I need to remind you that their idea of a peaceful protest is, is taking a dump on my car? Yeah, but that doesn't mean that we should be rigging the, the election, either. Who knows what lunatics like that'll do if they're actually given power. I know what you're pointing, you, I know what you're saying, but I don't think you guys are- I don't think your side is any better, really. Your side is- has not perfect, either, and in fact, I think it's less than perfect in many ways. If we don't step in now, who knows what's next. But hey, it's your call. If you're really ready to walk away from this, just say the word and I'll go in alone. Just don't come crying to me when you wake up one day full of regret because the world is suddenly something you never wanted it to be. This really is it, huh? Sorry. Good luck. I'm checking out. Good luck, Red. This is your fight, though, not mine. No good coward. I'm not a coward. I'm standing up for my integrity. It's a coward if I did not stand up for my my personal integrity. That's what a coward is. The fact that I'm standing up to you, like, uh, no, no. I am not a, I'm sorry, sir, but that is not what a coward is. Go on, get out of here before you blow my cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna have any part of that. Alright, so now that I just declined his... declined that quest, I'm wondering what I can do next. The election is... Yeah, the City Hall Courtyard. Well, alright, so he's already rigging the election. At this point, I mean, Clive is like, I just want to get to Angelus, so... If, if, as, as, he doesn't agree with what's happening, but I guess the silver lining is, if that guy is able to end the election, then the buses can continue on, and, you know, I can move on with my life towards, you know, what Clive's really worried. I don't think Clive really cares about this election. You know, I think I think there's one thing he cares about right now, and that's getting to Angelus before he gets married. So, um, Detective Ricky Clark. Yeah, I really want to see what this whole detective guy is about. Is everything all right over there, citizen? I'm wondering if I'm not going to be allowed in here anymore because I turned down that job. Don't even think about sleeping on our couches, Ricky. Yeah, well.
Alright, I'm wondering if something is gonna pop up in the next day, now that I've, you know, decided against doing, hacking the system. Let's see if the temp agency has anything. Alright, well I'm gonna go and plant more. I'm such a tree hugger. Plant more flowers. Plant more props. Alright, I did my fishing and I'm gonna turn in for the night and see if anything happens tomorrow. Um, I'm assuming since we went, since Red went and did his thing that the election hopefully will be over. Sleep on the couch. Find another page, might as well. Complete another journal page. Twelve days. We're almost halfway to... halfway. So I'm hoping, you know, this whole... whatever's happening in the city is gonna... it's gonna change. What's going on? They're about to read the election results. Ooh! Heck yes. Beautiful. Whoa. This is why, going forward, we will no longer be accepting opaque trash bags for garbage pickups. To ease the transition, the city will be providing three free bags to each resident at no cost. Additional bags may be purchased for a nominal fee from any city-approved retailer, including the forthcoming Macroshaft Supercenter. Hopefully this new program will help prevent any further tragedies. Oh, and it looks like that's the last of our announcements. Now it's time for what we're all here for. The results of our mayoral election. So there's Trudeau, who I never really got to talk to, and the union guy. Seems that we're missing a few of our candidates still, but let's not let that slow us down. The ballots have been carefully counted by our electronic voting system, and it's time to see who's won. Stacy, the envelope, please. I'm wondering if Red was successful. We'll see what happens. Thank you. It's been a long political season, but here we are at the moment of truth. As selected by the people, the mayor of Beaton is... Trudeau Liberté. Oh, wow. Really? So Red went and either Red failed or... the or Trudeau ended up like winning the election because they also rigged the election. Or he won it legitimately. I don't know. It's probably a mix. It's probably a mix of all of them. I wouldn't really, I would take the results of this election with a grain of salt, personally. Congratulations, would you care to say anything? Oh, he's mad. I've got something to say! That's not really protocol, Mr. Horde. You gonna stop me? That's what I thought. Uh-oh, what are we gonna, what's gonna happen? What's wrong with you people? After everything I've done for this city, after cleaning up these streets, you vote in this lunatic? Well, let me tell you something, you ungrateful sods. If you can't appreciate all the good I've been trying to do for you, I'm happy to take my expertise elsewhere. Well, yeah, I mean, the people voted. Granted, the voting well, probably was fixed, but... Uh, I'm not... No, I'm not even gonna waste my time talking about this guy. Effective immediately, you're looking at the new strategic management director for the Macroshap Corporation's beaten office. Offices. Oh, wow. So that's like his plan B. Hmm. Reporters, I'll be here for the next few hours to answer your questions. Interesting. Alright. Right. Well then. Let's extend a big congratulations to Trudeau Luberte, our new mayor. Despite what the, that old despot horde may have told you, I assure you that we are entering a new and prosperous age. Yeah, it's time for a change. This election beaten is asked that this election beaten was asked what it wanted going forward, and you answered change. Yeah, pretty much. As you can see, horde has always put corporate interests first, and I assure you, none of that will affect my office. I can say with full confidence that the changes you have longed for are indeed on their way. Thank you for those who turned out to vote. Your support has been truly appreciated. Reporters, if you have questions, I'll be available for the next few hours for you. And there's the other other reporters. Well, 